Hey guys, in this series of videos, I'm gonna walk you through the setup of your Serilog system, as well as the process of labeling and logging your sterilization cycles, as well as signing off on your chemical and biological indicators. Let's take a look. When you first get the system, you're gonna start by logging in with the generic admin pin, which is 000, and hit okay. You're then gonna to wanna to set up some users. So we'll hit setup, and then manage users. You'll then notice there are two boxes, one for the username and one for pin. Each of these have to be unique for every one of your users that you set up. So you'll start by entering your usernames. In this case, we'll use Zach and we'll choose a pin. So we'll enter the pin field, let's say 111 and hit add user. And you'll notice that Zach has now been added with pin 111 and we can set up multiple users. To add a user, we'll just click on the username field here and key in the name. So for example, we'll add Tammy and we'll assign a pin, for example, of 222 and then hit add user. And you'll notice that Tammy has been added as an operator with the associated pin that we've assigned her. To subsequently remove a user at a later date, all you would do is highlight the particular user that you would like to remove and hit remove user at the bottom. To set up your sterilizers, you would hit setup and then notice this area here where it says sterilizer settings. So you can key in the name of your sterilizer. So, so for example, if I wanted to add a statin, I would simply key it in here and hit add. To add another sterilizer, so say midmark, you would just key it in and again hit add. To remove a sterilizer, simply hit the drop down here to view all your sterilizers. Select the one which you like to remove, so in this case statin temp as an example, and hit remove. Now the sterilizer has been removed from your settings. To set up the backup location for your logs, hit setup, then click on the location field here and you'll see a dialog will pop up. You can select the backup location for your data logs from this dialog. So we can select the SD card which is provided with the system, or you can similarly set up a cloud location such as Dropbox or OneDrive for your backups. After you've selected your backup location, make sure to enable backups, and you can hit the Backup Now button to do a manual backup. Note that backups are automatically done to the backup location on an hourly basis. To customize your instrument kit names, hit Setup, then Manage Packages, and you'll notice that there are 36 different options here for fully customizable instrument kit names. To add an instrument name, simply scroll down to a blank field, select the field, then key in the name of your instrument, and hit Save Changes. You'll notice that Cavitron has been added to the list. To modify a name, select the row and make the changes. So instead of examination, if for example, we wanted to use Burrs, we would just key it in and hit save changes. And now notice that Burrs is on the top. When I close out of here, and go back to the main screen. When I now look at my list of instrument kits, you'll see that examination has been swapped out with Burrs, and scrolling onward, you can see that Cavitron has been added to the list. To set up your first load, you would select the sterilizer, and for the first time, you would key in the existing cycle number. You would then select your kits, so for example, two exam kits, one endo, and one crown bridge. At this point, I'll just note that this toggle here allows the user to indicate whether or not they're using a type five in this particular load. And hit print and log. To enter a biological indicator, simply select the sterilizer from the dropdown, let the cycle number be auto-populated, and for the first time, key in the lot number. 
This lot number will be retained until the user updates it after they complete their box of biological indicators. You would then hit enter and notice that the spore test has now been added to this active spore test log. This means that this, the spore test is currently either in the sterilizer or in the incubation period. When it comes time to signing off on your chemical indicators, hit view log over here and you'll notice that you have the date time field, the operator field, the sterilizer, cycle number, package type, as well as the number of packages and your test results, which have not been certified yet. So you'd locate your cycle number and select it for certification. Over here, you have your chemical indicator results. Each one of them has a toggle switch representing whether or not the test was passed. So in the event that the type one, four and five tests were all passed, you would select them and set them all to pass. You can certify the entire cycle in one shot, provided that you've checked all your chemical indicators. And you can add comments into this comments box as well. You then finally hit enter and then be prompted to verify that the parameters of time, temperature and pressure of the sterilizer have been met. So either by checking the USB or mechanical display or printout from your sterilizer. If you've done this, you can then hit yes and you've then certified your cycle. Now, if you click on it again, you'll notice that the status was certified by Zach and the parameters were verified. So now these instruments can be released to use. To filter on a particular set of criteria, simply enter them into the fields over here, such as a date range, an operator, a particular sterilizer or cycle number, and hit the filter button. To export this log to Excel, simply hit export to Excel, key in the name of the file that you like to set up and a location. You would name the particular file that you want and select a location for the output Excel file and then simply hit save. After your biological indicators have finished with the incubation period, you can then go in and select them here in the active spore test log. You would then certify the status of the control vial and test file. If the biological indicators have passed, then the control vial should have positive growth and the test file should have negative growth. You would then hit enter to remove the spore test from its active state and pass it to hit the historical log. To view it in the log, you would hit view log over here and you can see the results. So you can see the timestamp of entry, the operator that entered the spore test, the timestamp of removal, as well as the operator that certified and removed the biological indicators, the sterilizer cycle number that it was entered in, the lot number, as well as the test results. To log out and switch user, simply hit the icon over here and you'll automatically be logged out and leave the machine available for the next user. Thanks for watching our demos and for learning how efficient, easy, and simple instrument reprocessing can be using the Serilog system. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact us today. Take care now.